get my head in here. We got a new thing that we're gonna start doing now with the Supper Club and South Florida's restaurant guy, me, John Brewer. We are doing a thing called Backstage. And for our first first Backstage, uh, we are here at Furin Sushi. If you guys don't know where Furin Sushi is, it's out on Linton and uh, Military. It's in the northeast. Northeast corner, right? North, northeast corner. Okay. By uh, Big Lot and Audi. Big Lot and Audi. Same building. Yeah. 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 Uh, Awesome. And we are here because I love fish. I love fishing. One of the reasons why I moved back to Florida is because there's such great fishing here. Uh, I catch mahi, kingfish, I've caught wahoo, I've caught cobia, I've caught all kinds of great fish. Snappers, we've got grouper. Uh, am I missing anything? Well, tuna. Yes, bluefin tuna. We got bluefin tuna. Yes, big bluefin tuna, uh, 100 pounds. 100 pounds bluefin? 100 pounds, yes. And that's what we're going to clean? We're going to clean today how to uh, start from, you know, from the fillet, cut all the part, and sushi, sashimi, and yeah, all for the yard. So do you pick out different pieces of fish for different? Yes. For, yes. So, so sashimi probably is a different right, cut exactly. of fish for the sushi? How does that work? So, okay, if, if you compare to like a, uh, like a beef, of course. Well, you parts. know what? Even better yet. Let's get the fish, okay. and as we're cutting it, Okay, yeah. We'll talk about That's it. all, yeah. All yeah, right, yeah. sounds okay. good? Yeah, sure. Wow. Look at that sucker. Holy moly. Ooh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Now we're going to find out this mic is waterproof. That is beautiful. Now this is, for all you guys at home, my son and I used to watch, um, what is it? Uh, the tuna show, the ones no, with the guys no, no. up in Massachusetts. No, no, wicked tuna. Wicked tuna. Yeah. And that's where they check the fat content, yeah, right? Yeah. Right? So, um, usually we check by uh, two things. So, the fat content here by uh, the tail. So, we're going to check the color and we'll see how, you know, how fat it is. Right. They have a plate, probably a 20 level of the, how to create the, the fish. So, the fat content. The more fat you are, the more Price. Why is that? Is it tastier? The more tastier. Also, um, the quality of each fish is different. This fish can be ten dollars. Another fish can be thousand dollars. Yes. So that's why how they gonna check this one. So did this one get a really good grade? Yes, there's good scale. So they've been checked by the expert before the shipping here. So I want you know buy something it's good. People will have it or it's well, so, yeah. so one, I mean, but one of the things I was asking Chef was, um, you know, were you there to pick up the fish? And he said, no, he's not. He has an agent there, right? You basically have an agent right. who yeah. has a relationship. Yeah, so know. they said, hey, we got a nice bluefin tuna coming in, and you were, and she was like, Rob, you want it? Right. And exactly. so you kind of get to the front of the line, right? right. I have, have to pre-order first, so you you might not know what you're gonna get or not. So uh, they have shipment coming. So the guy here, the agent, the tuna expert. Then they go and they're gonna check all the fish. Oh, today is good. So they select uh, what was good. So back to the company, and now they're gonna start calling all the restaurant. Okay, whoever pre-order, they're gonna you know call you. Oh, I have hundred pounds today. I have eighty pounds today. Depend what size and on what price you are willing to pay. So if you have a good you know connection with all this stuff, they're gonna call you first, and you might get the first hand. And you said you've been doing this what twenty years? Yeah. So. Uh, not that old, probably about 13 years. <laughs> <laughs> trying, to, trying to age you here. Well, you still look young anyway. Oh, thank you. Maybe the hair and the mask, okay? Yeah, yeah. All right, great. Let's, uh, I'm going to move to the other side here. So one of the most important things we were talking about is your knives, right? Yeah, the knife. Yeah. One of the things that, you know, these are the tools of the trade here. This is what you guys do. So can you talk us through these knives real quick and I guess hold them up when you, yeah. when you talk about them? Because each one serves a different purpose, right? Yes, it is. So they have uh, usually the big can be uh, about uh, three to four different knives. So, but uh, I don't use all this, this one is called Deva. The bottom the same, but just uh, depend how big the fish is. They can do small fish, big fish. So same job, same task, but, different size. Yeah, that's right. Because this one for the fillet, the one with the have a bone on it, you know, very hard to hold. So you don't want to use the small knife to go uh, cut the bone and you can break your knife because. What, one of them can be called $200, $300 knife. So each chef, they have their own knife. Gotcha. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. That's okay. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, you're fine. How are you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah. One of the chefs walked through. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this knife here, this is this, this looks like the one of the sets you got. Yeah. And I love that. Yeah. This one is uh, a little bit uh, light and more convenient. So uh, you want to cut a small part, so whatever you did, like you can use vegetable too, but they also have different type of vegetable. I mean, Japanese knife is really a lot of uh, different type of knife and different purposes, but I mean for us, you can do one or two, cut everything. So if you have, have 10 of them, you might have to use 10 of them, but sometimes people like just buy for collection, you know. So you keep these knives right by you when you're, when you're slicing, because you don't know which one you're going to need. Right, right, right. You right. probably have an idea. You've done yeah. enough bluefin tuna where you're yeah, like, right, exactly. I know how this is going to So I, I'm going to pick some that you're going to use today. Definitely the, the one with the upper, they put a fillet, the big bone here, from the out of the feet, a small, tiny bone. And it, this one they call, uh, here, Yanakiba. Yanakiba, yeah. So this is uh, for the slide, you know, by small, tiny, tiny, tiny part that the, the, the big knife just cannot go there. So we try to uh, minimize damage of the, the meat as much as we can because we want to uh, uh, what do you call save the fish, uh, the, the good meat that uh, they can sell for a like, uh, good price, like a uh, sushi yeah. or sashimi, because that's what we more. If you use the uh, or the big knife, not correct knife, you damage the, the meat. Yes. So they'll, I've done that. The, so <laughs> the, the, you can't have a good price, so you might have to use some raw or something else. So there'll be a cheaper price. So awesome. So yeah, and the other thing is efficiency. You paid a lot of money for this fish. Yeah. And you want to make sure you get every dollar out every of it. Every dollar. So. You know, you want to, you know, you know, we don't want to get bone or anything, but yeah. you want to make sure you get all the meat that you exactly. can. Exactly. Yeah. With a quality cut. You want to maximize your profit too. So. That's why not not every chef can be cut, you know, the fish off. They have to be a bit expert, you know. They've been here. How long have you been doing this? Uh, uh I would say about uh, 13, 14, 14 years now. Yeah. All right, well, let's see you do it, man. Uh, so this guy was probably swimming, what, yesterday? Yes, yeah, yesterday, last night. Uh, they, he came in last night? He called me, uh, I mean, what, 10, 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, 10 o'clock. Yeah. 10 o'clock at night, yeah. Yeah. I got a bluefin. I got a bluefin, yeah, that's why, yeah. That's great, that's awesome. That's that's the fun stuff of being in the restaurant business. So this, this part we call uh, karma, so a lot of bone, but you cannot. Oh, the collar? Yeah, the collar. Right. All right, so now you're moving to a different knife here, right? That part here, because now I can go a little more uh, inside that the one that uh, my uh, big double knife cannot go. So, uh, so now you're basically using a smaller version of the same yeah, knife that you sharpened two days ago. Yeah. Uh, today, uh, this this morning. For the, uh, this morning. This morning. This morning. You got to be a little bit anal when you're a sushi chef, huh? Yeah. Everything's got to be in order, right tool for the right job. Yeah. It, it's very clean. Yeah. It's a lot of uh, step, a lot of mentor, you know, for the sushi chef. So, uh, Order, you have to use the knife, you know, correct fish. Hold it right, hold, hold the knife right, right use know. it right, put the right pressure yeah. on it. Same thing, cook the right, right temperature, you know, or the, the fish has to be wrapped properly, put in the uh, uh, right, right temperature, and then how you can keep it fresh all the time. So if you don't take care of maintain very good, your fish can be for bad really quick, and then that, you know. That's, that's, either you get a bad yeah. reputation and you exactly, serve it, or yeah. you throw it out and exactly. you, you lose your money. Exactly, you, you have to keep, keep fresh all the time. You know, with sushi and being a sushi chef, I know like uh, ordering is probably the most important thing. Yeah. Because you don't want to throw stuff away and you don't want to serve people stuff that's past its time. Um, and I know that was very hard during COVID, right? Because yeah, yeah. nobody knew how many dinners they were going to do. One night you, you were okay, and then the next night it was dead. Depending on what the news said, you yeah. know, depending on what yeah. was on the news. Right? Remember those days? Yeah, those days. Hopefully they're not coming back. We'll see. Oh, wow. That's nice. That looks like a, what's your, looks like a rack of ribs almost. You put that one on a pan over there. He's got a pan where he's going to step, uh, gonna now store that. Now we're going to pull now you're gonna now we can, uh, the first part that is open, that should be uh, very easy for the rest of it. Okay. So, because now you get wide angle, you know, easy. Gotcha. It's a big thing. People forget that they try to move around 
don't be afraid to move your meat or your fish when you're working with it. You know, you want to have the right angle on everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to have space. You want to be able to move. That's how you cut yourself. That comes from experience. <laughs> a couple of mahis and a couple of beers. <laughs> Do you fish at all? I used to, so I uh, went to go when I live in uh, Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, know. okay. So yeah. you went out for the big slobs? No, <laughs> I pretty much get nothing, you know, we just like, I, we, get, uh, we have like the charter board, so ah. 100 people on the board, you know what I mean? Like, you only make a few, maybe 10 fish, you know, around there. <laughs> only five for the one fish. I just go for fishing, it's fun, but it's the the hard part how to get the fish you know it's just the thing just throw it there lean back you know yeah yeah I hear you I hear you I love fish but yeah it's a lot of downtime people don't get that they they always show the fishing videos when they're catching the fish yeah, yeah. they don't show the three hours that everybody was twiddling their thumbs yeah, nothing and, yeah yeah nothing going on that's why like, that's why fishermen tell big stories that's how they they entertain themselves that way you gotta you gotta you have do. stories to keep it the day going. Either that or really loud music or lots of beer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it just have fun, okay? That's it, have fun. Just like, oh, we go party, but let's go for fishing. Okay? That's it, yeah, party, no fishing. You gotta see, I can see the, the way it's just, how much meat it's taken off. It's just whoosh, like a scalpel. Yeah, the, the, the sound is just like, the watch out, dude. it's way sharp. So. Yes, you gotta be careful. I did that with your knives, the ones you gave me. Oh, Let me yeah. tell you, I was cutting some meat one day. I just caught like the top of my finger now, but I felt it just kind of like, I mean, if I didn't stop, <laughs> it was gonna keep going, no problem. Wow, that's a nice looking line. Wow, that is nice. That is nice. All right. Before we continue, we have to scrap all the meat here, so everything will be used. This one we can do inside the roll, or you can chop it like a spicy tuna roll. Some so, gotcha. so stuff that's going to be seasoned or have a sauce on it, like you said, you're going to dice it up and, and that's some prime meat too. Right, exactly. Yeah, so what are you going to go in there with the sharper knife or? No, we're going to use the spoon to scrap it. Oh, okay. So that's easier. Okay. All right, cool. Oh, wow. That's came right out. Came right out too. Oof. I don't know. You can Get it just you know, like a steak, very soft. Very soft, yeah. Wasabi and soy, and that's it. You can just good to go. Don't worry, we're gonna do testing after this. Oh, we're gonna do <laughs> test. All right. Wow. So what I say before, so no way, everything. No way, no. I don't use the bone here, but uh, if the real uh, Japanese or the big company, they use this bone, uh, and I think I believe with the bread. Tell me the truth. Do you like making California rolls? No. <laughs> Is that like, that, that I was going to say gringo? That's but, what I maybe five years old, you know, it's for a kid, the first time they have a Yeah, that's like, your, that's like, yeah. Yeah, right, right. That's your introduction. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like sushi. You ever try it? No, I never yeah. tried it. Try the California yeah, roll. Yeah. <laughs> I would be like, oh, okay, wow, I have some cheap. Oh, yeah, California roll. Yeah. But this one always good. Yeah, California roll, spicy uh, cell, so. It's like training wheels for sushi. I say, meals. after that, you can start going uh, more higher, ex more expert, more expensive. So. Yeah. Oh, now I have a tuna, I have a sashimi, I have a toro, I have a uni. Yeah. I, have, I don't do uni. My son loves uni. Oh, really? I'm like, mm. We have the you like uni? I do. Before I don't, but you have to have a good, like a good, uh, fresh uni, okay? Because 
He wow, finally, that just came right out of there, man. Yeah. I'm looking at you. I'm like, yo, you got it everything. And then yeah. I'm like, whoop, you just got another one. The only is no, no between, okay? Good or bad. So you even have the good only. Oh, you have a bad one, terrible. You, know. you can't eat it again. Yeah. It can't it's eat like it. you drink, like, drink too much. You, you can't drink that alcohol you know, anymore. The, the, like ocean smell, salty smell, you know, like it's actually basic. It's an egg, so you can have a bad, you know, rotten egg. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even food will be sweet, like, oh, wow. <laughs> and where do we get our uni from? Uh, uni right now, they come from uh, uh, directly from uh, Japan. Also, it's a lot of, I get here a lot of California. Oh, okay. California coast or up to like uh, Santa Barbara. I'm, I'm not there. Once a while, I get from the, uh, from Maine or those areas, but more tiny California. Uh, California, uh, California yeah, and uh, a lot of people don't know. Uh, uni, uni is uh, sea urchin. Sea urchin, yeah. yeah. Which uh, I just got back from Puerto Rico and they've got them on the reefs there. A couple of people came back with. Uh, Spines coming out of their feet. Yeah. They're, they're, so they're, they're, the they're, one you have here is not tiny. Okay, you have to be at about this size. It's got to be big. Big. So, and the meat part's like that much. Yeah, right? it's not that much. You crack on top, it's open, and you scoop with the spoon or something. So, and now you're gonna have to wash it with uh, actually salt water. Salt water, like a brine. Cold salt water. Yeah. To make a head more sweeter. Oh, cold, cold salt water. Cold salt water with ice, so and I put some salt a little bit, and you wash from there and. Up, let them dry. Let it dry out. Uh, and after that, they select the clips. Okay, you full size, you know, the premium. Smaller size, they're going to be more cheaper. So just, just got it. Got it. Awesome. So now I think much of the So now, like that. Oh, this one is the bone. Oh, that's the bone. Okay. I, I can do from my other side. After this. What is that? Like a belly bone? No, it's uh, your fin. No? Oh, yeah. the fin. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. All, that's, that's all. I noticed the way you're letting the knife do the work. Yeah, you're kind of hacking, but then you're not putting a lot of pressure. It may look like he's putting a lot of pressure on it, but it's not really. He's kind of pulling with his elbow. It's not, you're not like jabbing with Just your hand. Yeah, you, or like, you're the least, yeah. yeah. And you don't want to get a big grip. You don't want to hang on too hard. So your grip is kind of up on the ball, on the knife, too. You're not really, you don't have the yeah, handle. I think the more closer, the more power you get. Yes. That's so more, the, yeah. yeah, so leverage. You and you have, have, have more control of the knife. Yes, more control of the knife. Get a better sense of its flatness. That's it. The carcass. Let me tell you, I think there, oh, there's, there's no meat on there. Pretty much got it all. Oh, there goes one. Uh, hard part done. So this one should be easy, but we cannot trim it, slice, and uh, divide uh, all the parts that we can. Uh, we'll trim it, slice it, and then divide it up by the parts, and that will determine uh, what sushi or what sashimi. Line, line, exactly. Sashimi comes from certain parts. Yeah. Yep. Because you can see through here, I don't want to say it's like marbling, but so there's a pinkerness here. There's a lighter color. Because this there's one a is a darker the, color. Right, right. But it's only this one on top. This one. Uh, 
So you're see my palate. Another part there. Yeah, this is the upper half? Upper half, yeah. Yeah, it's the upper part. Yeah, so the bottom half has a totally different composition too. It's like you're separating something from the loin, like that's the right. loin, right? The loin. Wow, now we're getting now we're getting to that really, you know, yeah, this really loin. gorgeous uh yeah, semi symmetrical, you know, everything's symmetrical. Right. Everything you can use it, but I mean you can be sure you put a sashimi so separate that. Okay, so that would that's that's do something else. Yeah, that's that's, that's not a tendon though, is it? Well now you're gonna have a nice That's so that's the prime, right? The prime, yeah, just like you know. That's it. That's the filet mignon. Speaking of which, I think I'm going to do one with a sexy chef. We're going to get into tomahawk, uh, tomahawk steaks. That's going to be one of the next ones we do by popular request. The stuff a lot of people see in the window, right? When they come yeah. in, they sit at the sushi bar. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's uniform, done up. So it's kind of funny. It's almost like a sculpture. It's just kind of, you know, you start with the big heavy wax, and then eventually you wind up with the fine tuning. And then this is that prime real estate, that prime chunk of, uh, of protein. Uh, that's kind of in there, but everything on the way gets used. Everything on the way gets used, which is pretty awesome. Our Chef Rob, Skyline. That's not your real name on Skyline. Oh, it'll be more longer than that. Yeah, it's longer, right? Uh, yeah. I think Chai. You're Thai, right? Yes. So Thai. it's probably like, yeah, it's got a lot of vowels. A lot, a lot of, of vowels, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ram Rod, Sing Chai. Sing Chai? Yes, Chai. Yeah. Awesome stuff. We appreciate you taking the time out and letting us invade your kitchen like this. Backstage with Chef Rod here. That's the beauty at the end of the beast right here. And uh, great stuff. So what's your hours of operation? Where are you, when are you open? Uh, lunch, Monday to Friday, 11.30 to 3. And dinner, 
Monday to Saturday, 5 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. every day. Well, I appreciate you being such a good sport, the first backstage, and uh, we look forward to doing a lot more. All right, thank you, and thank you. We'll see you guys. So, we're going to save some for you testing after this. We're going to eat some? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, so here we are. This is the finished product here. This is some of the prime real estate, right, Rod? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, what, how? Tell me, how are we supposed to eat sushi? Um, the sushi is okay. It's no right way or the wrong way to do it. Just de depend on on the person, the uh, uh, people. But traditional for the Japanese. So, what do you do? Okay. What? For the sashimi, okay. Uh, I have to take a bite first, okay, before you. <laughs> okay. So, we pour the soy sauce first, not after. We pour first. Just see how much you want to put it there. Not too much. And then uh, put some uh, a bit. So that's how I do it. Some people we pour the wasabi first and pour. It. Sometimes it's too much. Don't have to be a lot. When you want stronger, you do. So, uh, let's see. Keep the piece, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't dip in there, okay? Just like. That's it. That's yeah, it. you don't dip it and roll it around. Oh, we see your bright, smiley face. Just, what a handsome guy you are. Just do what that is. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. So, you, you, gave, you gave a little hint. Uh, so when you're eating sushi with rice, what did you say you're supposed to do? Not dip the rice side Not into the rice. You flip it over. Uh, use the meat. Just touch of the, the the soy or the wasabi, and you eat it. Don't dip the rice in the soy because the rice can absorb or the soy sauce. It absorbs too much of the yeah. Too, uh, uh, powerful and then it's gonna um, destroy the, the taste of. You don't feel much the taste of the fish. Got it. Perfect. So, 